So we're in KDE 6, and all I've done is move the bar up to the top. Now, most people don't know KDE enough on how to uh, pretty much configure it, but I want to show you how to get a dock on KDE 6 and set it up to be cleaner than what it is now. Because right now, honestly, when I have my setup for my desktop, people are always asking, how do you do that? How do you do that? Well, I'm going to show you. So first, we're going to move the panel up top. That's the most important part. Then we're going to shrink the panel down to 30. 34 should do it. I set this to translucent because it's very important. I like translucent. It looks pretty. And then we're going to get rid of this. This is the icon only task manager. Don't worry, we'll be adding it back. Next thing, I'm going to get rid of my pager because I don't need it. I hate it. We're going to add a nice, pretty spacer. This spacer is going to go in between this and the system tray. Okay. Now, this is what it looks like. It is so much cleaner already. You have no idea. Before we can get started, I need to go grab something. It's going to be KDE Meta. And why are we grabbing this? Because we want everything installed for KDE. Where is it? Unstable Meta, SDK Meta. Is it called Plasma Meta? Or, yeah, look, Plasma Meta. So, number 29. Then we're going to hit yes. Did that do anything? No, that just reinstalled stuff. See, I need to install the package that has everything because if I don't, you know what we're going to do? So, let me see. This starts here. So, 16 all the way up to all the way up to 29. So, 16, 29. Yes, 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 yes. Just to make sure we get everything. Don't don't actually do this if you don't want to. Find out what applications you want, what applications you need, and then you can get this done. But for me, I want to get everything because I want to make sure we got everything. I want to make sure you can adjust your volume output. I want to make sure that you could see your most recent devices like the ISO that's in there and everything like that. Let's get back to it. So we're going to add a panel. It's going to be an empty panel down bottom. See? Bam. We're already there. Next, we're going to hit edit mode. This is going to be filled with content. There's your dock. Next, we're going to need to make it bigger. I suggest around 64 as dock size. You can have it floating, not floating, up to you. You can set your position for the dock to be on the left-hand side, the right-hand side, if you're a masochist. You can also set it to be visible or not visible. So in other words, if you want to auto hide it, go ahead and do so. So next we're going to add a widget and that's going to be the icon only task manager. Drag that here and look at that. We are already there. That's how easy it is to set a dock, but we're not done quite yet. People also want to know what icon set I use. It's called Numix Circle. And I use this because the icons are so perfectly done that it just it calms my brain. Because these icons are not uniform. This one's bigger than this one, and this one's weirder than this one, and it, it just doesn't look right. Okay, so yay. Numix. Circle. Alright, yeah, uh, did I... New mix circle. I spelled circle wrong. You're going to want to hit one. The white icons are not acceptable. They do not look good at all. So continuing forward, this is going to grab everything from the GitHub and it's going to install it. Now this comes with nasty brown icons, and but we can change them to blue, which is what we want, or purple. It really depends on you as a person. I like blue macOS type icons. They look beautiful. And uh, Numix Circle doesn't have for offer macOS type icons. So instead, uh, we're going to do the best we can to just show you how pretty this is. Okay. 
Come on, you got this. Compress the package. If we all cheer it on, do you know what will happen? It will be a beautiful song. Alright. Anyway, that was weird. Um, so it's done. It's installing. It's going to install something else. There's two packages that it has to grab. They are dependencies of one another. And this makes sure the icon pack will work properly. Now, if you want to organize this, you can pin things here. You can also drag and drop things to the end. So settings should always be on the end. Uh, you can unpin things like discovery. Don't ever use discovery. It's garbage. And that's installed. So this is called Numix folders. What this does, it allows you to change the icon color and everything else. It's an amazingly simple, simplistic package. And it's probably going to install within seconds, which is always great. Because I know you guys like things being swift and easy to deal with. And... Come on, you got this. See, every time we egg it on, it goes quicker because it knows that it's motivated. Computers are like people. You motivate them, they get shit done. So there we go. Uh, then you go sudo, new mix folders opening this up will allow you to set your style and your color so we've set blue hit apply it's going to apply system wide and then at the end it's going to close the application just like this done folder change complete and that's it so then we can head into here like that more appearance settings we can head into icons and apply the Numix circle icons. I love these things mainly because they're all the same size and they just work. See, all the same size. It's pretty, it's perfect, it's functional. Now, you want dark mode? You got dark mode. You want purple mode? You have to do that yourself. Getting purple mode is a bit different. And since we have Firefox on this, I will show you how to place icons, or not icons, themes currently um, inside of Plasma 6 at the moment. So we're going to go here. Ooh, look at all these. These are so cool. Look, endless Plasma theme. As if it's bad enough, they weren't already ripping everything off. Uh, I recommend Magna, Dark Plasma, that's a good one. And there's another one back here, if I can find it. Look at that glassy one. Sunset Plasma, that looks killer. There's just so many things that you can actually grab and enjoy. Like, we're going to go through these. Ooh, Dark Theme. Right, that one's cool. I want to grab a couple of them. That one's a really good one as well. Sweet Mars is cool. Not my style though. I want a very purplish theme. Sweet Amber, Silvery, Infinite Plasma. A lot of weird ones here, that's for sure. Here, let me just try to search this, okay? Purple. Purple. No categories matching purple. Really? Alright, well, let's just go with what we have. We're going to use this one for now. We're going to hit download. Repair, so we have to wait 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You know the drill. And once that's done, I will show you where to place them. And how to activate them. So there we go. That one's completed. We're going to grab the Apple Dark theme. Another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I don't know why they've messed this up so badly, but they did. We're going to do that. As you can see, those new mix icons look amazing. Oh no, it reverted us back. The hell? Of course it did. So setting them up against, uh, again, is just a simple click. And we head out. And we head in. And it's not going to reapply until we close and open again, is it? There we go. 
now it looks amazing. All right, you're gonna hit Control H on your keyboard, and we're gonna go into dot local, share, and I believe it's plasma shell. Is it not plasma shell? Hmm. Let's make the let's make the folders first. I think we have to make the folders first. So let's try to get new. Then we're just going to install something pretty just in case it wants to install. Here we go. This is another way you can do it, but currently it's failing. And as you can see, it added another folder. Look and feel. See that? That's what we want it to. Because I don't know the full fail of the full folder layout. And we're going to pull open the new one. We're going to hit extract. Yeah, open with arc. And I'm going to drag and drop that here. Done. That's one. Now we need to download this one. And there it is, open with arc. And there we go. Okay, so now when we open this up, we're actually going to close this. We're going to close this as well, because so we want it to reload. We go into more appearance settings. You see there's nothing. We head into here. There's also nothing. But if we head into application style, there's also nothing. Plasma style, on the other hand. Where the hell is it? The decorations are not there either. Let's see, sometimes it doesn't always work. Get new. We're going to just install this one. It's going to fail. There we go. We created the folders. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back, copy you guys. And we're going to paste this in here as well. Okay. Application style. Can't add anything. Colors. Get new. Try to install something. Oh, thou, that, that actually worked. All right, then. Where are you, Magna? Magna. There it is. Install. Great. So now that we have Magna installed, we can hit apply. It changes things. Application style. Still nothing there. Plasma style. Look who's here. Hit apply. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. Apple Dark All, though. Oh, that looks a thousand times better than the theme we were just on. Wow. Okay. Well, once again, there's no decorations, as you can see. So we're just stuck with default. It's kind of lame. Get new. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to type in Apple Dark. Oh, oh, oh. What do we got? Apple Absolute Dark install. Use. Look at that. So now we have this one. Apply. Cool. Now we got those. Colors. Did not install anything in colors? It didn't. Get new. Apple. Dark. I think you guys are getting the hang of this. Aww. It's just crappy Dracula themes. What if we just search Apple? Yeah, currently we just have crappy themes at the moment. So this one's out of the question. But we are able to change font colors. Or sorry, the accent colors. All right. Anything in here we can do. Oh, yeah. In here, you're also able to configure your GNOME application styles. So, Windows decorations were good. Icons. We're at new mix circle. Cursors. You can do whatever you want here. Splash screens. Uh, let's get Magna. Because Magna is really cool. Actually, you know what? Let's do this one. Now, this one fails as well. Anyway, 
uh, we are customized. And it looks really, really, really cool. And honestly, I like it. It's a bit weird. I mean, this going with this. But at least you know how to get it done on Plasma 6. And that's all that matters. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, one last thing. One last thing before I go. You can change the icon to whatever you want. How cool is that? So if we wanted to change it to like a weird little Windows button, we can. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, and uh, hit the like button so that you help me out with the YouTube algorithm because it's annoying and it hates people that teach other people. So let's show it a thing or two. Bye.